How y'all doing out there? This is KCRG. You've never heard of me, but hopefully you might in the future. Today we're going to take a look at Hyperspin Attraction Mode for PC, just released by the CoinOps devs themselves. And we're going to take a look at that, uh, but first you need to know how to get it if you don't. So open up your browser. And I do realize the microphone uh, is really jaunty. It's just a headset mic for now. I will be uh, purchasing something else in the future, but uh, for now, this is what we have, so we'll work with it. Okay, so you're going to want to go over to Arcade Punks. I like to keep it easy, so that's why I use them, but uh, do feel free to reach out to your favorite YouTubers, um, ETA Prime, Pitmix, some of my two favorites. Uh, I'm sure they can help you out in that department. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've also enabled my uBlock Origin for the time being, uh, just to keep it nice and clean for the purpose of the video, but uh, I do not run that any other time. Um, you will just go ahead and disable that. Please do. Uh, these guys, they're not human. They do amazing work, and I'm sure the blood, sweat, and tears, the least we could do is support them as much as we can. And uh, yeah, so let's just dig in here. Front end downloads. Make sure you point to that. And then you're going to come over here and you see where it says attract mode. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, and at the very top here, we can see 12 gigabyte hyperspin attraction Motley Crew. And over here, we have the NFO file. If you'd like to learn more about what's in the package itself in the collection, go ahead and click that. I've already done that. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, Click on the torrent right here. Uh, the NZV is also available if you want to take that route. I'm perfectly fine with the torrents. They seem to work well for me. So we'll click that. Um, I've already taken the liberty of downloading it. So uh, keep in mind, about 11 and a half gig. It's about 13.3 on your hard drive. And we're just going to go ahead and open the folder to where it's downloaded to. And you'll see a bunch of RAR files in here. Uh, 1 to 17. Now here's what I like to do. I like to open up dual Explorer windows. It just makes life a little bit easier. Now I keep all my retro stuff on its own hard drive and as you can see I've already done the extraction method here but we're just going to go ahead and hold our right mouse button and drag. And you'll extract it here. Now you see here I have extract here smart and delete. That's because I'm using band zip uh, which I highly recommend. It's a fantastic zip program. So once you've done that, you're going to have this folder, Hyperspin Attraction. Double click, go inside, have a peek. Uh, you're going to want to do this anyways. Um, this gorgeous little 3D pixelated icon, I, you know, attention to detail like this, I can really appreciate things like that. I just love it. Uh, so we'll right click that little guy and uh, come down here to Properties. Click that. Okay, we'll bring this window up. Go over to here to the Compatibility tab. Come on down to Run This Program as Administrator. Now, you're going to want to do that right away. Um, you will run into a couple of errors uh, when trying to open some of the games. If you haven't done this, uh, have no fear. It will not uh, mess up your build in any way. You can just exit the program and then come over to here and do this. So we'll click OK. Now that we've done that, um, I also like to go ahead and uh, pin this guy to my taskbar, which I've already done down here. Okay, so we'll close these two windows. I'm going to leave this go and seed for as long as I possibly can. And it's still running down here. So we'll go ahead and close that. Now we're going to go and open up Hyperspin. So I'm going to take a moment and just let you really soak in the intro. Um, I believe it was done by Ninja to be seen. It's just amazing. He did a fantastic job and I think uh, credit here is where it's due. So let's have a peek, shall we? Click yes. <laughs>
spin. And there we have the intro, just fantastic. So I've already been in to the uh, actual GUI itself, and you're going to be presented with something a little different. Um, here, let me just click right, something along the lines like this. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit the B button on my Xbox One controller. And we're going to start from right here at the arcade. As you can see at the bottom right, uh, bottom left rather, there's 500 games. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they really took the time to make sure that this was just going to light you up as soon as you opened it and that it does okay let's keep moving we have the sega model 2 each one has its own unique backdrop everything here is done in high quality so all the videos are high quality i have a 43 inch uhd 4k tv and i don't notice any blotchiness whatsoever it's absolutely outstanding you can even see the scan lines so I'm not sure if you can pick that up in the video but here you can definitely see the scan lines and it just gives you that nostalgic retro feel so moving on we have the Sega Model 3 Beautiful. And we have the Naomi. The Sammy and Thomas wave. Dolphin Blue. Great game. Everybody should have a go at that one. Mortal Kombat. God, that's sexy, isn't it? Who's that creeping in? Get over here. Don't be shy. All right, moving on. We have Street Fighter. And if you've noticed it drops in a little laggish, it's not your eyes. It actually does that. Uh, if you look at the little joystick at the bottom middle of the screen, it's moving at a perfect 60 frames. I'm not sure if that was an intentional. So here we have them also assorted by category. All the beat em ups. We have the fighting games. Platform games. Puzzle games. Racing games. <laughs> Run and gun games. Sports games. Rudy Tootie Aim and Shooty. Schmups. And the light gun games. Pew pew. Pew pew. Favorites. I haven't added any yet. Uh, if I did, it would be the entire collection, so we're not even going to attempt that. But it's there if you'd like. Atari Classics.
Then presto. Capcom Classics. Good old Street Fighter there. A game that I hold near and dear. Cave Games. Some more shmup action. Data East Classics. Galco. Polygame Master. Irem Classics. Kaneko. Kaneko? Not sure if I've ever gotten that one right, but we'll go with it. Konami. Midway. Namco. Nintendo. Sikyo. Psycho? Another one I'm sure I'm butchering. But again, we'll just go with it. Sega. SNK. Taito. Technos Japan Core. Some of my favorite beat em ups come from this group, uh, especially Combat Tribes. A mentally difficult game on single player. Tecmo. Bomb Jack. I used to play that in a convenience store. They sold milk and candy bars and things like that. When things were cheaper. Toe Plan. Universal Classic. Williams Classics. Narc, when that hit the streets, there was a lot of controversy around that game. Capcom, play system one. Another mentally difficult game. Capcom, play system two. And last but not least, Capcom, play system three. So, there we have it. All the settings, you can change up whatever you like, including the GUI, the controls. Speaking of controls, I like to usually head on over into the menus to know what I'm doing before I get into it, so I can just jump right in and have the maximum fun possible. Here's all the credits. Credits are where credits are due. Have a look here, and don't forget to support them. I'm KCRG. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give the screen a kiss. If you didn't, flip me the bird. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. Have fun.